Hmm. Well, it looks pretty good. <clears throat> hey, you guys. I just wanted to give you a quick tip. I just thought I would go live. Um, I'm not a Cubs fan, by the way. I don't watch baseball. I don't even know who's on the team, so let's just get that squared away right now. I want to thank you all for subscribing to Rod or Too Brief. I think I like it here better. And uh, Speedy, what's up? <clears throat> so, you know, this is just a quick tip, and I wanted to set the record straight on green hair algae in your saltwater aquarium. Um, what totally works, big time works, if you've got green hair algae in the aquarium, hey guys, um, is the hydrogen peroxide. I put links to the food grade hydrogen peroxide in the video description. It works. You know, a lot of people, even the bigger reef channels, they're, um, they're saying use phosphate RX. They're saying turn off your lights for a few days to a week or two weeks. That's crazy. It's not enough time. They're saying all these things and nothing works. Nothing works. The phosphate RX, you put drops in and it's supposed to break down the green hair algae, then you still have to go in and pull it out by hand. Well, that's garbage. Who wants to do that? Doesn't work. What works is the hydrogen peroxide. I'm not getting paid to say this. What would, would, would hydrogen peroxide incorporated be paying me to say this? I wish they did. I don't even know who owns hydrogen peroxide, but there's going to be a link in this video description. That's what I'm getting to saltwater newbie. Um, link to where I get it on Amazon in the last handful of videos I did and this one in about an hour. Let this upload and, you know, process itself, this video, and then I'll put the link to the hydrogen peroxide that I use. So, yeah, Gabriel, you know why? Because last time I had it on Wi-Fi, and now I shut the Wi-Fi off, and I'm strictly going on the signal, the cell signal, because I'm a little too far away from the Wi-Fi, which is in the basement, and I'm outside. So, um, okay, so here's what I wanted to tell you about the hydrogen peroxide, all right? <clears throat> the number to dose hydrogen peroxide is dose one milliliter per 10 gallons of saltwater aquarium. But when I was doing that, I was dosing 35% hydrogen peroxide. That stuff is really, like you get a drop on your skin, it'll burn. Um, now, it doesn't hurt your fish, and it doesn't hurt your coral, and it doesn't hurt your inverts. Let's just get that straight right now. Okay, it doesn't hurt them at all. Your corals may close up for a couple days. Mine did for three days. But I wanted to let you know that when I did this, I got rid of, now, my tank looked like green moss. I mean, I, it looked like there was wigs in my tank. Um, I had green hair algae that looked like flowing hair. It was everywhere. I couldn't even see my rock. It was just like a moss pond. It was ridiculous. So I dosed one milliliter per 10 gallons of salt water. So since I have a 125 gallon tank plus a sump, I didn't include the sump. So 120, that's 12 milliliters, and I got a little syringe to dose it in. And I turned off all my pumps, and I dosed it right on the big trouble spots. And that green hair algae literally melted away. So I did that every other day for a week and a half, and it was gone forever. Of course, that hydrogen peroxide will continue to float through your tank and kill everything else green hair algae wise it will not hurt your refugium and it will not affect your coralline algae so the main reason i wanted to make this video is to tell you that amazon no longer allows the potency of 35 percent concentrated hydrogen peroxide all hydrogen peroxide companies have to stay no higher than 12 percent so if you're going by my one milliliter per 10 gallons a few of you have said Hey, this isn't working. I still have the green hair algae. So you could triple it. So if you're using the 12%, remember the one mil for 10 gallons is if you're using 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide. So if you're using the 12%, you're going to have to triple it or do double if you want. So triple would bring it to my level. So that would be three milliliters 
of 12% hydrogen peroxide. It comes in a big bottle, too. It's like $22. It's, it's not that pricey. You're not going to use the whole bottle. You're going to use maybe like a tenth of the bottle, if that. But what I did is I would dose like 10 mils of hydrogen peroxide weekly just to make sure that the green hair algae wouldn't return. And I haven't done it in like six months and it's been fine uh, just to let you know. So you can do three milliliters of hydrogen peroxide that's 12% food grade that's available on Amazon now. Three mils as opposed to one per 10 gallons, okay? That's what I wanted to tell you guys because a few people reached out and they're like, hey, it's not really working for me like it did for you, so you're gonna have to dose more. I admittedly went a little crazy with the hydrogen peroxide and I dosed like double the amount, so with the 35%, so that would be like you guys dosing six mils per 10 gallons and that's really like potent and that's when my corals closed up but everything was fine. My inverts were fine. My corals were totally fine. They just closed up for like three, four days and everyone, everyone came back fine. The fish were not affected at all. Um, but I would dose with a syringe and wear gloves because if you get it on your skin, it'll, it burns you. Um, it won't burn a hole through your skin, but it hurts. It feels like, um, a severe sunburn. All right. So that's why three drops of the 12% per 10 gallons is more than enough, all right? So one milliliter per 10 gallons, if you're using 35%, you're gonna be hard pressed to find that. So you're gonna be going with the 12%, so that would be three mils per 10 gallons. I just wanted to throw that out there, a link in the video description in about an hour, and um, that's it. Do you guys have any questions? I just wanted to hang out. It's really nice here in Chicago and uh, I just thought I'd be outside. I haven't been, do haven't been doing too much uh, saltwater stuff. I'm going to do a water change in a little bit, but um, I've been working on my two other channels. Oh, Gabriel, the movie is going well. Um, we filmed a couple of the Darth Vader scenes in front of a green screen. I don't know if you saw those on my other channel, Steve Rotter. You do a search for my name or Rotter Studios. The movie's going well. It's going slow because uh, with all films, it takes a while, especially with all the CG animation. Um, but it's the trailer's coming along well. Thanks for asking. I'm really happy to be working on it, and it's a lot of fun. Um, in other news, the Joker channel, I don't work on that as much, but it's still alive, the Joker box. On YouTube where I jo do the Heath Ledger Joker impression, someone reached out. I'm going to be doing a um, big collaboration with a channel that's got over 2 million subscribers. I'm excited about that. They need some voiceover work done as the Joker. <clears throat> and then, yeah, I've got a couple other things in the works where people reached out to me that are pretty big with the Joker voice. We'll see if they happen. But that's really about it. Ah, uh, what else? That's really it. Um, the holidays are coming, you guys. Not really looking forward to them, because to be honest, it's all about, I need to buy for this guy, and I need to buy for that guy, and they need to buy for me, and I need to buy for those groups of people, and those groups of people have to buy for every... They're not seeing the meaning of Christmas, and for that reason, I'm just not into it. And I used to be as a kid. Not so much anymore. Where are my chats? There they are. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are doing well. Got a handful of new subscribers, which is cool. And uh, we've got a great community here and at Facebook. I also wanted to let you know that the website RodderTubeReef.com, it's going to be going away. And I think that's going to expire in February. So I'm just not keeping it up. I'm not there that often, if at all. Um, a lot of you guys used it, but it's not being utilized like I thought. So we're just going to keep the YouTube channel, of course, and we're going to keep the Facebook group, which is outstanding. So many people are helping everyone else, and that's really great. So that's really it. Hey, Thomas, what's going on? I'm just hanging out, telling them what's going on with this channel and everything else. Um, next stop will be the Joker Box channel live. i got to fill those guys up on an update to let them know what's going on. And... Uh, 
That's really it. I missed you guys. I know I don't do videos as much as I used to, but that's okay. I'm still around when people ask questions through here or Facebook. Um, Gabriel, the link is in all the video descriptions of all the Rotter 2 Brief channels. Yeah, I know, Thomas. I've been, I've been so tired and sleeping and busy with my day job. I've been working a lot of hours, and I get home really late. So it's like a revolving door. I'm just trying to chill out today and not do too much. Um, there's just a lot on my mind, and it's just driving me nuts. So, yeah, I'm trying to, trying to chill out. Not do much of anything. So I do a video here once every couple of weeks or whatever. You know what, Gabriel, don't worry. A lot of people suck at looking there. No one ever reads the video description, comments. They just don't. You know, a lot of people are like, man, I wish I could learn more. Right down below is the video description, comments. I've got links to everything I use. Hopefully you guys can hear me while I've got a wireless mic, a, a wired mic right here. Um, <clears throat> but, um, yeah. Um, links to everything I use in my aquarium up to date and information on the video that I like to type. Anything that might be helpful for you guys, such as the Facebook group. Um, I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna get rid of the router tube brief link soon. And, um, cause that website, like I said, is going away. I tried it. It's just too much to take care of. And it's like $450 a year, which is ridiculous. I mean, I'm not making money where I should be spending that. So that's it. You guys, hey, what's up clown reefer? You guys have any last minute questions before I sign off? It's nice here in Chicago today. Nope. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys soon. I want to thank you for all your support. A couple people have reached out to me personally to see. Thank you, Gabriel. I appreciate you too so much. Thank you for watching and everybody else too. Um, uh, yeah, just always busy working. Happy reefing. Enjoy your tanks and enjoy your life. No problem. The chosen one. You're welcome. And thanks for watching. I, I appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, sometimes I think about it. I never, never thought this channel would grow as big as it was. You know, when I had like 70 subscribers, I was like, oh my God, 70 subscribers, dude. That was really cool. And now what, what am I? Like, I don't even know, 11,000? Which is awesome. But <clears throat> anyway... Yeah, check out the video description for information on this topic and all the gear I use and all my other channels, too. All right? Take care, guys. I'll see you next time. And miss you guys. Take care of yourselves and be safe out there. How do you turn this off? <laughs> Are you... Oh my god, you remembered that, Mark? My pu No, the pupils are not dilated. Nope, it's just nice out. Believe it or not, we have sun here in Chicago. And uh, pupils are not dilated at all. That was so long ago. Oh well, I can't figure out how to turn it off. Stupid YouTube live stream. Now I have to stay alive like Thomas said. So what I'm going to do is try this. And I'll see you guys next time.